Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very interesting question from algebra. x plus 2 whole power 5 over x plus 1 whole power 5 plus x plus 3 whole power 5 equal to 3. So let's get it started by checking our equation at x equal to negative 2. So numerator will be 0 power 5 is 0 over denominator will be minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 whole power 5 which is minus 1 plus minus 2 plus 3 is 1 power 5 which is 1. So we are getting indeterminate form 0 over 0 form. So I can say x cannot be equal to negative 2. So for our given equation x can't be minus 2. Now I will use substitution. Let us say x plus 2 equal to t. Once x cannot be negative 2, I can say our substitution t cannot be 0. I will write our equation. Let us write x plus 1 first. This will be t minus 1 and x plus 3 which will be equal to t plus 1. Now I can write our equation here. x plus 2 is t. So t power 5 over x plus 1 is t minus 1. So t minus 1 whole power 5 plus x plus 3 is t plus 1. So t plus 1 whole power 5 and RHS is 3. Now I will use binomial expansion and Pascal triangle to expand t minus 1 whole power 5 and t plus 1 whole power 5. So I need to know the expansion coefficient. I will use Pascal triangle. For power 2, expansion coefficients would be 1 to 1. For power 3, 1 3 3 1. For power 4, 1 4 6 4 1. And for required power 5, 1 5, 10 10. 5 1. Now we will write expansion for t plus 1 whole power 5 and then we will be writing t minus 1 whole power 5. This will be equal to t power 5 for coefficient 1 plus 5 times decrease power by 1 so t power 4 plus 10 times t cube plus 10 times t square plus 5t plus 1. Similarly, t minus 1 whole power 5 will be t power 5 minus 5t power 4 plus 10t cube minus 10t square then plus 5t minus 1. Now we have to add these two equations. So I will write t plus 1 whole power 5 plus t minus 1 whole power 5 will be equal to 2 times. These three terms will be over. We will write in the bracket t power 5 plus 10t cube plus 5t. Let us put this value in our equation. So I will get t power 5 over 2 times in the bracket t power 5 plus 10t cube plus 5t. RHS is 3. Now I can take t common from the denominator's bracket. We will get t power 5 over 2 times t in bracket t power 4 plus 10t square plus 5. RHS is 3. Now we can cancel this t with power it will be 4 left. So I will write t power 4 over 2 times t power 4 plus 
10t square plus 5 equal to 3. Now I can cross multiply. I will write 3 times 2 times t power 4 plus 10t square plus 5. This will be equal to t power 4. Now 3 times 2 is 6. In the bracket we will get t power 4 plus 10t square plus 5 equal to t power 4. Or we can expand our LHS and write 6t power 4 plus 60t square plus 30, 6 times 5 equal to t power 4. Now take all the terms to LHS, 6t power 4 minus 1t power 4, 5t power 4 plus 60t square plus 30 equal to 0. Now equation is divisible by 5. Let's divide both sides by 5. I will get t power 4 plus 20 square plus 6 equal to 0. Now we can use another substitution t square equal to a. So we will get one quadratic in a. So t power 4 will be a square. So I will write a square plus 12 times a plus 6 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. We can use quadratic formula method. Let me write equation here. a square plus 12a plus 6 equal to 0. So I will write a equal to as per formula, this is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, capital A is coefficient of small a square which is 1, b is coefficient of small a 12, c is constant so 6. I will get a equal to minus b so minus 12 plus minus the square root of 12 square minus 4 times 1 times 6 over 2 times 1 is 2. Now I can write here a equal to minus 12 plus minus a square root of 144 which is a square of 12 minus 24 4 times 6 is 24 over 2 now 144 minus 24 is 120 so i will write minus 12 plus minus the square root of 120 over 2 now i can write here 120 as 4 times 30. So, minus 12 plus minus is square root of 4 times 30 over 2. Or we can write minus 12 plus minus. This 4 will come out from a square root as 2. So, 2 square root 30 over 2 or a will come out negative 6 plus minus square root 30. Now we know that square root 30 is less than 6. So I will take minus common first as we are getting both solutions negative. So let us take minus common out. So in the bracket we will get minus plus square root 30. Now this is our substitution a and a was t square. So I will write minus 6 minus plus. 
so this will be equal to plus minus we can write square root 30 now we know that the square is negative so we can utilize complex number property i square is equal to negative 1 so this will be equal to 6 plus minus the square root 30 times i square now i can take a square root both sides so we will get t equal to plus minus i times a square root of 6 plus minus a square root 30 this is the value of t and t was our substitution x plus 2 so let us replace t with x plus 2 so i will write t equal to plus minus i times a square root of 6 plus minus a square root of 30 now t was x plus 2 i will write x plus 2 equal to plus minus i times the square root of 6 plus minus the square root of 30. Let's subtract 2 from both the sides. We will get x equal to negative 2 plus minus i times the square root of 6 plus minus the square root 30. So we are having four solutions. Let me write all of them. X1 will be minus 2 plus i times the square root of 6 plus the square root 30. X2 will be equal to minus 2 minus i times the square root of 6 plus the square root 30 x3 will be equal to minus 2 plus i times the square root of 6 minus the square root 30 and last solution would be x4 equal to minus 2 minus i times the square root of 6 minus the square root of 30. Here we have all four complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.